Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. In this video, we will be learning one efficient technique uh, regarding appending of data and generating a new list where we don't need duplicates. So we will be utilizing Microsoft Power Query for creating a unique list of uh, all the CNIC number from two different lists. Uh, we will be using appending technique within the Power Query and also removing duplicates. So let's first understand that if we are using Microsoft Excel features, for example, if we don't use Microsoft Power Query, what we can do? Uh, we, we can create a formula for that, a, a nested formula for that, or we can use the built-in features which are available, just like remove the data and do it manually. So let me uh, start with a uh, primarily example by having uh, the available features of Microsoft Excel and then we will be learning this without doing with a formula and we will be utilizing Microsoft Power Query. Okay, so we have two uh, list of CNIC numbers. Uh, we have list one where we have a number of CNIC numbers and we have list two where we have again uh, some CNIC numbers. Now it's, it's generally possible that the data we have collected for these two CNIC list uh, might contain the duplicates as well. So for a quick check, what we can do in Excel is uh, I will select these both two lists and I will go to Home tab, click on Conditional Formatting and from here you will find a category which is called Duplicate Values. When you click on it, uh, Excel will quickly highlight duplicate values, duplicate cells for you uh, with, with, a, with a required fill color you want. Okay. So as we can see that uh, the list one and the list two of CNIC contains duplicates. Now what are required uh, purpose or the solution we want is we want a CNIC uh, in, in a separate column where we need unique CNIC numbers which are just came one time in our in our both the list also and also the duplicates as well but uh, we don't need their uh, repetitive occurrence we need them just one time in, in the new list. So this means that uh, we need to remove duplicates as well. Now, technically, uh, if I don't know Power Query, for example, and I, if I don't know a formula as well, so as, as a novice Excel user, as a beginner or intermediate Excel user, what I can do is um, I will just copy the first, I will just select the first list of CNIC numbers or the data you can say. I will copy it and paste it in a new column, okay, or you can paste it to a new worksheet or a new workbook as well. So. After doing this first initial step, what you can do is you can again going to your original data set where you have the list to select that array, control C, copy and coming to the last cell of the list one and pasting here the new list or the second list which you have. Now we know that this third list or the, or the new column of CNIC numbers holding uh, both the unique and the duplicate CNIC numbers and we just want the unique and removing the duplicates so that we we have a new list of CNIC numbers where we don't have the duplicates in it and we have complete CNIC numbers available from both the list okay so as a novice user what you can do is you will select this new list and you will go to data tab and where you need where you have built-in feature available that is called remove duplicates when you click on remove duplicates it's hold the first title of the column uh, which uh, as you have selected that and press OK. Now it says that the four duplicate values found and removed, 28 unique values remain. So now you have done with it, you have solved your issue. Now this is manual. Now what happens is uh, whenever this list CNIC number increases, for example, either in list one or in list two, okay, so uh, your work, uh, because you have done it manual, there is no automation in, in this. Uh, in these steps so what you can do is you have to again selecting the both the list copying and pasting below each other and uh, applying the rem remove duplicates every time when when you have a data increasing with the passage of time so now this is one of the solution I know that some of the basic users will like it but now as Excel has changed uh, we have grown and the community has grown so much so we have the latest features available now this kind of solution can be created by applying the complex formula first you need to think about which kind of functions would be able to do this uh, or to to generate this kind of a solution right 
and if you have the latest version of Excel you can use Microsoft Power Query see the Power Query is available from Excel 2010 Till moving onwards uh, versions of Microsoft so you have power query in 2010 2013 16 19 okay and if you're using Excel 2010 so you have to download power query as a separate add-in from the Microsoft web website which is free available uh, remember that if you are using Excel 2007 you can't use uh, the business intelligence tools like power query power pivot or any other tool so I hope that the viewer or, or the listener uh, who is watching this video might have Excel 2013, 16 or 19 above versions so that they can smartly apply the latest built-in available features. So quickly going to the Power Query now, I'm using Excel latest version uh, Microsoft Office. So the Power Query is available with me in the data tab and we, we have here a group called Get and Transform group. So this is the Power Query. If you're using the older versions of Microsoft Excel, so you might find a Power Query as a separate add-in, okay? All right, so first technique would be uh, how to uh, do it with Power Query without applying any formula and making, making it automate so that if later on your data increases, you don't need to worry about. So first what I will do, I will select this first list of CNIC, list one, and uh, I will say it to convert it into a table format because Power Query most of the times understand the data which is in a structured format and for st a structured format we need to uh, transform the normal ranges into a table format. So I will go to insert tab and I will click on table and I will also check mark on my table as headers okay. So now this list is being converted into an structured references and uh, now the name of this table is table 3. So we can do a rename of this table 3 so that it will be a neat and nice name and when we will be appending the in within the power query so we can understand that which kind of tables we need to pick otherwise we will get confused later on. So instead of table 3 what I, I can do is I can write a nice name to it so CNIC list 1 for example in this scenario. Now the next step would be the similar kind of step which is I will select the CNIC list 2 again in this array and I will go to insert tab and I will click on table. If you want to use the shortcut key uh, you can see here control T is the shortcut key. So I will press control T and then the same window will appear create table. Uh, make sure that you have check my table as headers. Now you have two list and you have made it into a table format. Now, in, in more complex situations, might be there are not two lists, there are more than two lists. Uh, this can be happen, it doesn't matter. And in this situation, what I'm telling you is that uh, both the lists are present in the same workbook. So later on might be, practically it, it could be possible that uh, the CNIC list one could be in a separate workbook, the CNIC list two could be in a, in a separate workbook and you need to append those two different workbooks into a new workbook to create a new list as well. So this is also possible. And if you want to learn more about how to append multiple workbooks into one, uh, simply go to my YouTube Excel Basement channel where you will find appending techniques which, which I have covered uh, in, in much detail. Okay. So in this situation, we have two different lists presented in, in the one particular workbook scope and we will be generating a new list uh, in, in the same worksheet, okay? So how we can, how we gonna do it now? So I am, crea after creating these two as, as a normal ranges as a table, uh, I have also uh, make these two headers same. Okay, and I will tell you the reason as well. So first what we need to do is we will push this data of uh, CNIC list 1 into the power query for doing that we need to go to data tab click on table and here you will find this list so just click on close and load and close and load to button and here in, in the import data window select the only create connection we just need to uh, link this data into the power query as a connection so I have just click on this only create connection and now CNIC list one has been created. Okay, so the table name is CNIC list one. You can also give this list two as a CNIC list two name so that later on you can find out that which list the CNIC is being coming from. So again, going to data tab, click on table and power query editor window will appear. 
and now clicking on close and load close and load to only create connection now both these two tables list has been connected within the power query now the uh, now the further steps would be to uh, append these two list and removing the duplicates and creating a new list out of that so i will just click on get data combine queries and i will click on append So here we find two options first two tables or three or more tables we have two tables we'll just click on add button so that these two tables can be added to append further i will click on ok button and now power query editor window will appear again so now you can see that all the cnic cnic from both the list now in one column right now the purpose for renaming the header of both two list was if the header will be different the power query will append the data but into a different column if you want to append into the same column you need to have headers of or the titles of both the list spelling of that should be same and also you need to take care of case sensitive capital letter and small letter so the the case sensitive should be the same the spelling should be the same okay so that's how the appending on, on the power query will be smart and you will get all the data into one column otherwise it will be a sep two separate columns and after that if when you get all these uh, cnic numbers into one without without generating any formula right any excel formula now one more step is is uh, just left with the query is to remove the duplicates so we know that once we have uh, appended the data from two list in which we have the duplicates and we want to remove the duplicates so within the power query on the home tab click on uh, remove rows and here you will find this contextual menu here which is the third last option remove duplicates click on that and uh, whatever the duplicates were in the list has been removed and the step has been recorded and finally when you're done with all the final steps uh, now you need to press close and load instead of close and load too okay so when i press close and load so as you can see the cnic list here as well and as i said because i have i haven't applied the actual formatting for the cnic number you can do it from the home tab within the excel as well or you can set into the power query for for you to not make changes later on again and again so now you you got a new sheet list of cnic numbers from these two different cnic numbers where you have unique and the duplicates as well now this new list is does not contains the duplicates it's coming single time and uh, those were already unique are also coming in that so this is complete cnic list from two different list and later on if your a uh, list increases with with other cnic numbers for example let me put some more cnic numbers to it let me again repeat these two cnic numbers i have added again repeated for the duplicate purpose and let me add one more cnic number here uh, all right so now uh, again i don't need to apply all that process again what i need to do is i will just go to last cell of my data that's i want to show you the demonstration uh, going to data and just click on refresh button so when you click on refresh button as you can see here uh, you got the new cnic number as well right uh, so very simple when once you are once you have done with the power query uh, the advantage the biggest advantage is that your all steps has been automated uh, you don't need to worry about next time and you have haven't created any formula or, and within few minutes you were able to solve your query so i hope you like this technique with the help of power query and this is one of the powerful uh, add in in microsoft excel so use it thank you